Hello, in this video I'd like to show you in a few easy steps how to set up a new feature in the ACI 2.0 release uh, called Multipod. Um, very quickly I've got my topology here in front of you. What I have is on the left side I've got pod 1. I've only got a single, a single pod in there uh, with three leaves. Of course that's not a production deployment as you'd want to have at least two spines in each side. Um, I've got directed connectly, directly connected to my spine over a 40 gig port to what we call the interpod network. And the interpod network are these two orange boxes. Uh, and the interpod network uh, is really just a generic device. Uh, it could be from any vendor. In my particular case, I'm using the Nexus 9200 series. Um, so I've got a connection there, a 40 gig connection. The requirements uh, for the interpod network devices are as follows. It must be able to support OSPF, pretty standard. It must support PIM, BIDER. Um, which is fairly common, but you need to make sure that your platform supports that. DHCP relay. It also should support jumbo frames, specifically MTU of 9150 is what we're recommending. And of course, 40 gig ports, because the connection between the spine and the interpod network device must be currently today a 40 gig connection. Um, so as you see here really quickly, uh, on ethernet port 1 slash 20 from pod one spine 201, um, directly connected to the first IPN device on a sub interface. Now notice here that we must use VLAN four as the encapsulation between the spine and the interpod network device. I've also set up a couple of IP addresses because we're going to set up OSPF adjacencies between the spine and the interpod network device. The stuff in between the interpod devices could be whatever you want, BGP, static routes, OSPF, EIGRP, it doesn't really matter as long as we can support these requirements across those connections. On the right side, you've got pod two and I've got another single spine and all of the same sorts of uh, conditions applied. So let's actually take a quick look at the running config of the interpod network device that I call West. This is the device in pod one that's connected to the spine in pod one. Just really quickly go through the configuration. Uh, as you can see, I've actually turned on the important features that I listed here, namely OSPF, PIM, and DHCP relay. Uh, notice that I also set the uh, system MTU to 9150 here for PIM and also under the interface. Because this device is my PIM uh, rendezvous point, I've also configured the RP here and I've set the MTU. Notice that I've included the range, the GIPO range. When you first set up an ACI fabric, it asks for a GIPO multicast range, and we need to make sure that that uh, is joinable across the, uh, the IPN. Uh, we can see that we've turned on service DHCP and DHCP relay. Um, that's pretty much it for the, for the device configurations. Now let's quickly look at the interfaces itself. Uh, so if I go all the way down to the bottom to the first interesting link, it's Ethernet 1 slash 49. As you can see, I've created a sub interface, but I've set the MTU and the main interface as well as the sub interface to 9150. Notice that it is using encapsulation for VLAN 4. This is required, as we said. We've got the IP address. Um, it's running OSPF in area zero as a normal area. And of course, it's got uh, PIM running. And then finally, we've got the DHCP relay address to pointing to my one and only APIC in my lab setup of 10.0.0.1. Um, beyond that, I think all I have is the loopback, which is acting as the IP address for the rendezvous point and my OSPF configuration down here at the bottom. I will include my configurations on a GitHub repository that I will link to this video so that you can download them and go over them in detail and, and pick the things out that you need to configure your environment.